a new dating website lets users match based on their browser history. Yes, we've already seen new dating apps that match people based on AI, but this one is a little bit more authentic. It takes the last 5,000 most recent searches and uses it to match you with someone. It's actually not the worst idea because it prevents inauthenticity. Yeah, it's pretty much just me trying to find you guys scientific horror. Online dating has actually become a very normal way to find a partner. In fact, one of five relationships for people under the age of 30 was found on an online dating website. But as we all know, people lie. And finding those lies is actually a really important way that you can determine if the person you're dating is maybe a narcissist. Researchers have found that men and women lie at about the same rate, except they lie about different things. Women are more likely to lie about their weight, and men are more likely to lie about their height. And both do lie about their age. But those lies tell us something very important about that person. Lying on the internet can actually tell you if somebody is narcissistic. There is a strong correlation between people who present an inauthentic self and people who have narcissistic traits. This is actually a measure of a specific kind of narcissist that's usually harder to find, a vulnerable narcissist or a covert narcissist. When someone obviously shows grandiosity, you can kind of tell. They're the greatest person in the world. They're good at everything. But for those who hide it, you gotta look a little bit deeper. Vulnerable narcissists, or covert, tend to be very down on themselves. They hate that they aren't perfect, and they express that which is sometimes harder for people to see until it's too late. You realize you're in a relationship with somebody who is actually awful years into it. Essentially, there's a slow dawning horror as behaviors pile on top of each other and you're already invested. This is something that you can do right from the start to see what kind of person someone is. You show up to a date and find someone who is, I don't know, 50 pounds heavier than they said they were, using pictures from 10 years ago, or maybe is five inches shorter than they said online, wearing lifts. None of those things have actually happened to me, so just I'm, I'm not speaking from experience. I'm just aware that it happens. That is actually one of the things that bothers me about online dating that is just blind, that has an algorithm match you with somebody, or even browser history, which is uh, terrifying as it is. I don't need to match with someone who has the exact same interests as me. What that doesn't allow you to do is see some of those initial red flags. The person in front of you, you're essentially going in without knowing anything about them, without being able to see some of those basal behaviors. Like, if they present themselves online as very different than they do in person. I am going to give you guys some terrible advice, maybe, but I've had fun paying for the first date. That can tell you a lot about a person, how they react to it, and I've seen a variety of reactions. The ones that really get me? The immediate anger. So what do you think? Would you date people based on your browser history?